Hi everybody, this is Diane. I'm here for my first Tag Tuesday in a long time since I took the month of September off. But I'm back and I'm crafting and I'm working on the Flea Market Fresh Journal that I started. Oh, let me grab the cover to show it to you so far. I did do a little, I did do some work on the cover while I was gone. So this is what I've done so far, and I will go into detail on that better in another video. Uh, this will be the spine. <clears throat> so uh, this is the one I'm going to keep, and I'll make a couple more to put in my shop. So this is my <coughs> Flea Market Fresh journal cover. So the object, the theme of this journal will be to use a lot of things that I purchase at flea markets. And I use the Kathy Holden Flea Market Fresh fabric on the cover. So I'm make, making tags today. Today is Tag Tuesday. And um, Tag Tuesday is a collaboration sponsored by Sherry Brown from Turquoise Streaming. I will leave a link to her channel below. And you can go to her channel, find one of her Tag Tuesday videos, and you will find a link there that will let you see all the other participants in Tag Tuesday. So I have made one tag and I've started on another and I have an idea for another one. And I got this idea from somebody, I don't know who, because I made little notes here of things I wanted to make. I just wrote flea market journal ideas on this paper and then I I saw these tags and I don't remember where I saw them and I apologize for that. But I have taken a, a ready-made tag, just a shipping tag, but you can cut it out of cardstock or manila file folder or whatever. And I put on a vintage book page that features collectibles and this page was about chairs. This is a Windsor side chair for a child. So this is a very, very, very simple tag, but I love it. Um, it, I added some blue stamps to it and uh, a ledger piece with the number like that part right there on a ledger and uh, just did some inking and that's it and you can write on the back so I started on this one. Oh, and I, I sewed around the edge I started on this one I did glue the book page to the tag and I inked around the number I have a little tray here of things that I might be able to use in my flea market journals. So I'll look for another element I can add. I might just go with more loyalty stamps or trading stamps. Try green ones this time. I think they're too big. I had that one strip of blue that was vertical. These are horizontal. I mean, I could take individual stamps and glue them down. Alright, I just want to keep these simple. There will be a lot going on in these journals with all the uh, vintage flea market ephemera I will be adding. Yeah, I'm back being crafty now. 
but tomorrow I will be gone a good chunk of the day. So I guess tomorrow will be one of my days off. I had said I would uh, work. I, I put work in my mind in quotation marks because I love doing this so much it doesn't feel like work. But I said that I would work um, three days a week, but I think I'm going to make it four, at least for a while, because I have so many journals to make, so many that I want to make. If I just cut this little number off of the top of a ledger, I will show you in just a moment. And I inked it, and it already had that rounded edge. I will sew around that just to add some interest. I could change my thread to a darker color to show up better, but I don't know if I will. So I have this small ledger that had this messy writing in it. It's from the 50s. So I'm just taking some numbers off of that. I like to leave the numbers on the ledger page if I'm going to use the whole page in a journal, but for these, I can spare a couple. These are just some, these are vintage um, reinforcements that I got at a flea market and they're super sti sticky. And then I just inked on them. And I do find uh, seam binding at flea markets. It's not that everything I put in these journals has to have been found at a flea market. Just as many things as I can use from flea markets is what I will do. I got that from a flea market. And I like that with the color of the stamps. I'm going to cut off this part that's all crunched up. I'll have to take that out when I sew around it, but there's two. Let's do one more and then we'll do a different kind. Wanted to do one start to finish with you, except for the sewing. Um, I think I got more tags down, but oh, there they are. These are some pages that I could use. I wanted to use pages from the, some of the books that I have about collectible items antiques, things like that. I like this one with the mirrors. And I like this one with the clocks. I might end up making both of those, but for th this video I'll just do this one. Oh, which side do I want to use? going to be off-center as far as the width. I think I will use this side. I'm just going to lightly draw around it so I know where I want to cut it. Or I'm going to glue it down first. So I'm holding it up to the light so I can see the picture through the back and I know I pretty much have it where I want it. I'm going to trace around it. I'm going to glue it down before I cut it because I won't be able to cut it exactly and it'll be easier to trim it if I leave it bigger than, bigger than needed. I don't know why I'm putting the glue in here instead of on the tag. On the other ones, I put the glue on the tag, but it doesn't matter as long as some glue is there to adhere the two pieces together. I'll just 
let that dry a bit before I cut it out just to be safe so it will have the clocks let's find the number for it I'm using the bigger numbers because well this one is 81 that would be all right but just a number one or a number two isn't as interesting I don't think as a bigger number so with more digits and there's a number on each side so I can turn it whichever way I want to since the mirrors are over here I will have it on this side this time I thought these collectible pages were fun for the flea market fresh journals because people that aren't shopping for junk journal supplies might buy these sorts of things at the flea market. My sisters and I went to the windmill, if you recall. I, I went there in the spring, but I like to go in the fall. It's in the Finger Lakes area of New York. Seneca Lake, Cayuga Lake. Those are, I think they're the two bigger ones. Maybe you've heard of them. Watkins Glen, New York, is situated on Seneca Lake. But it's wine country, it's grape country up there. So I like to get uh, Concord grapes. Whoops. I want to put some stamps in there. Or something. So we went up there on when, uh, Saturday and had a great time. It was a beautiful day. It was a, a bit chilly. The wind was cold. If you were out in the sun, you were okay. So it was like a perfect day for me. I don't mind being chilly. I didn't get these at a flea market. I got them from a Etsy seller. It doesn't mean I can't use it if I want to. Just trying to decide if there's something else I can use instead of but there's another line of horizontal, I mean vertical stamps, so we'll go with that. Um, so anyway, yeah, we got, I got my grapes, but there's other stuff too. All kinds of food, there are a lot of Amish up there, so there's Amish baked goods, whoopie pies included, which I didn't buy any this time. But I have all kinds of baked goods from the Amish and produce from the Amish and other people. They're not all Amish. It's just a fun day. It's It takes me about 25 minutes to get to my sister's and then from there it's over an hour to get there. But my brother-in-law drove us 
in the camper. They have a mini Winnebago. And uh, he is such a good sport. He drove us all the way up there listening to us chatter, chatter, chatter. But he said he enjoys it. And I believe him. He wouldn't say it if he didn't mean it. He likes to hear us talk. which I think is just wonderful. He's a nice guy. So it was just a wonderful day. There is a little uh, shed. There's a row, there's four very large buildings with all kinds of stuff. And then there are sheds and other, you know, smaller outbuildings. And we didn't spend I don't, we didn't go to any of the smaller outbuildings this time, and there's one that is all books, used books, and I have gotten my book house books there, and I've gotten golden books there, but they're a little pricier than what I pay at flea markets, and I didn't need any more books, so we didn't even go to any of those buildings. So these are very simple tags, but I hope that they will accent the pages of the journal nicely. The next set of tags is going to be simple also. And this is, flea, this is um, binding that I got at the flea market. Set them there so I can go, where did I put those tags? Next, I wanted to make a tag with some of these yearbook photos. I have These are all cut out of yearbooks, and then these were just a collection of senior photos that were written on the back. They're act the actual photos. Um, I got a whole bunch of these at an estate sale. And I wanted to just put one on a tag, and I found this manila file folder portion that uh, I collaged on, so it's bits of ledger, old ledger, and this is the one I've been cutting the numbers off right there. So I'm going to make a tag out of this and add a photo to it. Looks like I have to trim a little bit, it's a little uneven, stuff hanging off the edge. Just make them the same size. These are three, three and a quarter by six and a quarter. I'm just, yeah, I guess I'll do that. Three and a quarter by six and a quarter. down some of those loose corners. This is actually obviously shorter. I have two shorter pieces.
I'll just do one for now. It's a little bit wider and taller. So it wasn't quite three and a quarter by six and a quarter. Try to center it. Doesn't look centered. I know it'll bug me if I don't center it. It's almost centered. Okay, now let me see my picture. I'll just pick one of these. They're not as heavy as thick. These are quite thick. I'll just pick a picture. And put it right there. And I'll trim that corner off. And I want something there. And... I think I'll put a photo corner. I got these at a flea market too. There's a black one. Maybe I'll put it on both. for my pretty little vintage gift stickers that I get at flea markets. These things. I have these little foiled ones and these. I think I want one of these. That looks pretty. I like that. And that's a very simple tag. And again, I would sew around it before I add the photo corners. this down first, but I don't want to glue that corner that I'm going to cut off.
so pretty. I love these vintage stickers. Just making sure that glue is dry. Otherwise, it'll stick to my punch. That makes a fun little collage, doesn't it? Oh, I did this on file folder so this one doesn't have the reinforcement on the back. It's not that it needs the reinforcement, but I like the look of it. green seam binding in for that green on the sticker. So around that one. I want to do one more. Same thing. We'll put a, a guy on it. I have different sizes. I think that one's too big. See if I have any guys in the smaller. I guess they're the same. I guess that's okay. But do I I probably don't want to put a flower sticker on that one. Let's see what else I have. I have a bird. Maybe. This, I thought it was really cool, and since I would like to keep one of these. It says, hurry up, this is for a sailor, and you would put it on the outside of your envelope. That might work. So I would like that to be on one of mine. I think that's the only one. I, oh, I ha do have another one. There's a skunk. Now. If I put my husband's high school picture there, that would be great because uh, he had a car, a Matador, Matador X was the brand. I think it was an AMC car. He bought it brand new, his first brand new car, and it was black with a white stripe and he called it the skunk. I might just put this in my in my journal somewhere so I can write about that. But maybe I'll go with this. And it's got a pale background. So I might want a little bit of something behind that. Some blue mulberry paper or something. Okay, I 
I'm gonna, I rearranged my paper and stuff and I didn't label things yet. Wallpaper. I don't know. I don't see it. Oh, here it is. It was in the top drawer. Sorry, guys. Guess I better label things. So I have my mulberry and handmade papers in here. Maybe I'll put a red behind it. I think this time I'll glue it on before I cut the corner. And maybe to preserve that number, I'll move it over here this time. I went to, I used to go to ceramics class with my grandmother when I was in high school. And after my husband got, my boyfriend got that Matador car, he was three years older, I was still in high school. Um, I made him this pretty good sized ceramic skunk. Gave it to him for his birthday. I don't know what he thought of it, but <laughs> kept it until it broke after we were married. Okay, now I'll trim the corners. Trying to decide what to make tags out of for a flea market journal is mind-boggling. I'm going to cut some of that number off anyway, because um, there's just so much I could use. Wallpaper, wrapping paper, ledger paper, which is what I'm using, but at least I'm, I'm decorating it with an assortment of items. book pages, all kinds of book pages that I have from flea markets. I got a lot of paper dolls this year. I found some before in other years, but I got a lot of them this year. So I want to include some paper dolls in these journals. center that well you'll be able to see that with the seam binding in there Let's see if I have a navy I've got quite a bit of black don't really want to put black in it this very wide navy. Guess we we'll use that.
forgot to ink around it. But I don't need to do that on camera. I'll have to take that out and ink around it and then sew around it. So There are two done with the collaged ledger on file folder with yearbook photos and some vintage stickers. I could add buttons or something else to it if I want to. And then I did three with book pages and ledger numbers and trading stamps. Well, that's it for Tag Tuesday this week. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will be back. Uh, hopefully the next video will be working on another fabric cover. So I was thinking I would um, figure out the collages for the next two covers. This is Flea Market Fresh Fabric as the base, the green stamps, and this part is collage ledger actually on fabric and then these little pieces were all cut from the flat lay of the flea market fresh and uh, little bits of lace added to it so I was thinking I've got a lot of the pieces uh, cut out of the fabric ready to work so I can um, work on collaging so I'll probably do that on the next video so I hope you come back for that um, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with these flea market journals. What do you think? I'll see you in the next video. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye.